So this question says, in the xy plane, line S passes through the point zero, zero, and is parallel to the line represented by the equation y equals 18x plus 2. So a couple of things. The question describes um, a graph that's not provided. So I'm going to just sketch a graph here. I'll see if Desmos is more appropriate. As of right now, it doesn't seem like it. I have this line S that goes through 0, 0. So I'm going to just put a point here at the origin. We're told that it's parallel to the equation y equals 18x plus 2. Well, y equals 18x plus 2, when I think about that through y equals mx plus b, tells me that my b value, my y-intercept, is 2. So I'm going to have a 2 here. And my slope is 18, right? So it's going to be pretty steep. I have a line that looks like this, which means my line, that line S, must look like that. And the other kind of hint here is that whenever you see parallel and you're, the question's asking about or providing information that includes the slope, it means that the slope of this line must also be the same, right? So what do I know about line S? So I'll say line S. I know that I have an X value at zero, I have a Y value at zero, and I have a slope that is 18. The question goes on to say, if line S also passes through the point 4D, which means I also have an X value at four and a Y value at D, what is the value of D? All right, so this is all we need. Desmos is not required. I know that in order for, um, I know that line S has a slope of 18 because it's parallel to this equation. And that's really all I need. How do we find slope? Well, we can find slope by finding the difference of our y values, y2 minus y1, over the difference in our x values, x2 minus x1. We've been provided with two x values and two y values. So I'm going to say my y2 is d, my y1 is 0, my x2 is 4, and my y, I'm sorry, my x1 is 0. So we'd have 18, which I know the slope is, is equal to d over 4. And I can multiply both sides by 4 in order to solve for d. And then 4 times 18 is 72. So d is equal to 72. And my answer is choice C. So again, I think that there's some, um, some temptation here to go to Desmos. I don't think that ends up being valuable to you at all. Really, what's valuable here is the connection between parallel and the fact that we're provided with the slope of this equation. And therefore, that means the slope of line S is the same as the slope of the provided equation in being 18. And we have an x2 and x1, and we have a y2 and y1. So we have all that we need in order to solve this question.